Hi, this is Tehseen. Uh, this is my first Blender tutorial video. Uh, Blender 3D is uh, uh, is a modeling software, come animation, come rendering software. You can design things with Blender. Uh, I use it mostly to do uh, smaller stuff like uh, uh, product design or you know maybe designing a car like the way you're seeing on the desktop right now. Um, so to download Blender, you know, you go on this website called uh, Blender.org, and um, you can go in the uh, you can you can go to this website, click uh, this Blender 2.55. Here again, you know, on the right hand side, download 2.55. Come here, you can download 2.55 Beta Installer. Once you download it. This is the package, you double click it, install it, you get an icon like this, double click that and you get a screen here like this. Um, simple layout, but right now I would like to just you know, do a couple of things uh, so that you know, we keep the things simple on the, on, the, on the interface end. Bring the mouse here, extreme left, then you see this as soon as you bring the mouse here on this you know angled or diagonally diagonal cuts you see the mouse become crosswire so hold this at this point hold the left key of your mouse when it's cross crosswire pull it down now you see once you're in the middle just leave it so you've extended it a little bit you can maximum your screen is maximized um, okay and um, then this side as well, you know, you can just take your mouse to the extreme right, make it crossfire, hold it, take it up, and leave it. Okay. You can maximize further, you know, by hitting this toggle button. And now you see your, you've maximized the view. Now in Blender, the most important thing is that, you know, um, all the objects are selected using the right click not the left or the middle click generally in windows you know what happens you click uh, with your left mouse button and select object but here if you see if i'm if i'll click any object with left nothing will happen this is the camera this is the light this is the default box object use three button mouse uh, the middle one being a ruler one uh, so you can take it uh, you can zoom in zoom out using the middle mouse ruler Okay, you can dolly um, using the middle mouse button. You can press it and move the mouse, and it will dolly. You can uh, pan, you know, in the view using the shift key and the middle mouse. So combination would be like you see. If I want to see on the other side, I just rotate it and um, I pan it. I can zoom it, zoom out. Okay. So, holding the middle mouse button and moving the mouse causes the dolly. Shift middle mouse and moving the mouse, panning. And middle mouse roller, you know, if you move, zoom in, zoom out. Okay. Um, now, uh, now, the important part is, you know, how would you select this object or any other object in the scene let's say you want to select the light take your mouse over this light and right click now this is selected same way for the camera and if you again want to select the object so right click is the way you select an object in blender now any object which is made in blender is made up of lines or you can say maybe points surface whatever you want to use as the fundamental um, thing which is responsible for creating your object now let's see how you can change the shape of this object so right now we are in the object mode. In case you want to change the shape of this object, you have to press the tab key. You can use the other option also which is here, you know, you come here in this uh, horizontal menu, uh, this horizontal 
bar here you can choose edit mode it's the same thing shortcut key is um, tab key also by the way if you want to deselect uh, the selection uh, just press a the alphabet a key and it deselects so you right right click again zoom in press the tab key i can dolly also right now okay now again to choose this particular point you know you have to press the right key right mouse button and it gets selected you can see the axis uh, at this point and if you want to drag it let's say in the x direction which is the red arrow you can see here x is defined as red you take the mouse on top of this arrow press the left mouse button and start dragging same way for vertical and no uh, for y axis for z for x and for y inside the circle if you hold it becomes three dimensional i never do that it's of no use you need to know the direction otherwise there's no point so um same way you can you know right click on any other point or you can sh press the shift key and start clicking more than one points and then you can move them together okay you can press the tab key and come out of the edit mode and you can just watch the object so this is a uh, thing uh, you know as a basic tutorial on what's blender i know um you would want to know you know how to do something really useful uh, so i would delete this object press x key delete and i'll just show you a uh, sample stuff uh, i'll press the shift key and i'll hold the shift key and press a i'll get this menu i'll in the, in the, in the mesh i'll choose plane i'll go close i'll press the tab key now it's in the edit mode um i deselect all just to show you that you know how to deselect again i press the b key this crosswire comes i press the left mouse button and drag it and select all of them um then i press the e key i take it up take the mouse up by default it it you know automatically starts taking the Uh, extru ex extruding the uh, object, you know, in the uh, along the normal of the object, along the normal of the surface. And let's say I again press E. I press Escape key. I press uh, the S key for scaling, and I scale it like this. And I again press E key. Take it up. Again press E. and press s oh. again i press e and i take it up leave it i press tab come out of so now you see i have created an object and there are there are more things also you know you have to if you want to make this look like a metal or you want to make it look like a brick that's called rendering so we can go into the rendering part later quick rendering you can just do like this with all shadows and everything there press escape key to exit this and you're back um you can view this object from different different viewports like left one right back front bottom top uh please note this is, is this is a perspective view uh, uh when you know modeling you wouldn't want a perspective view you would want you know something called ortho view so either you can uh, come from here and choose ortho like this or you know you can even press the 5 on the numpad uh, on a normal pc keyboard or in case of a laptop hold the fn key and press the 5 on the alphabet keys 
on the alphabet keys also you have numbers if you observe uh, these numbers are you know similar to the numpad of a, of a normal keyboard so when you have to actually uh, choose the five of numpad on a laptop you have to hold the fn key which is on the extreme life uh, extreme right on the lower left side next to the ctrl key hold it and press 5 on my keyboard on the letter i you know i have this 5 so i press that and if i press it again so i, I switch between the two now same way you know 3 on the numpad is for uh, side view so if i hold the fn key and press 3 i go on the side always remember um, uh, in case you want to see the side top or back front view whatever you know make sure that you are in the ortho mode uh, you see here you see also this right ortho if i if i press um, fn5 um, this text changes to right perspective uh, generally modeling is done uh, Generally, you press F and key and five and make it ortho and do the modeling in this way. So this is the basic video. Um, I'll come back with uh, another video, you know, which will detail more things.